Usually sound ordinances are more valid like after 10 o'clock. No, but it's right? just there are, there, it, is a, it is local to state uh, or things about that mm -hmm. fireworks can be used on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, and Mondays, but not oh. on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So, um, uh, I know, mm -hmm. uh, basically it's a travel, busiest travel period of year because they take extended vacations, which like she was talking about. Yeah, they do. Well, um, anytime on holiday, the official holiday is midweek. Yeah, we got yeah. Uh, originally entitled Yankee Doodle. This is one of the several version of scene painted by A.M. Willard. It came to be known as the Spirit of 7076, which is why you can go, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, born on the 4th of July. That's that one that the Spirit of 76 people are so used to. We're actually. Wait a minute, does he have? Yeah, with the little fife in the drum. I actually did that when I was. You're going. What in the world are you doing? Do you do you remember when they? Right. Yeah, I had this. I was a, I was a drum player. You know. I hated that. And you know what? I did learn that your relatives do not think it's very funny when you get the kids all these toys, so then they can kind of research, yeah. practice like a band. <laughs> I, 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 I had a, I had a flutophone, which I, I, I yeah, I had a piccolo. So, um, uh, basically, uh, it, 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 it's Bristol, 4th of July, Bristol was the oldest continuous Independence Day celebrated in the nation since 1785, still going, means the baby. Wow. Oh, then, okay, now, remember Nathan's hot dog eating contest in Coney Island? Yeah. Are they still going to do that? Because yep. I know they've uh, been talking about... Ah, the uh, mayor of New York City has basically had, he, he took his big foot and put it up his rear. What happened? Uh, because he had to back off on the hot on the hot dog eating stuff. After he said that hot dogs had, he, he, they were getting ready to do hot dogs. You know, you, oh, now you make me want to go back and see that interview because one of, there was one time we were on the red carpet and they had done a hot dog eating contest. Yeah. Remember? And I was with um, the two guys, one was Kobayashi, and the other the guy is the current winner. The current champion, right? Yeah. So I remember seeing their faces when we were sitting there talking about how you're able to eat all this stuff. And I said, can you demonstrate, okay, what's the best way to eat a hot dog fast? Yeah. <laughs> then we found you have out. To understand, yeah, you have to understand what she's doing with the hand as she's saying that in her life. <laughs> yeah. She, we, we know, I'm on the back side, and I, I'm, I got the camera on their faces, and, and uh, they were under, they, they We know. understood, or, or actually we they, discovered that they could under, Kobayashi could understand English. Yeah, very much <laughs> English, so. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we were having a good time, and I wasn't really thinking about it when I asked him, but there are tricks when you're doing these food eating contests. Because we've seen them a number of times when they're trying to get world records, like eating the most popcorn or eating, you know, the, the food eating contest. There are actually techniques to help. Yeah. Um, rest your, um, what's it, rest your throat and and coat your stomach. Yeah. So, yeah. It's called fudging. And then, oh, no. Would they ever do something oh, like no, that? No, they have to keep everything in their stomachs for X amount of time after the show is over. Then they just go, Bleh. <laughs> That's why they're not. Actually, do you ever notice that the people that win these contests are not usually really fat? No, because it, they, they get, they it all get this rid stuff. of it. As, they get rid of it afterwards. But uh, mostly, it would, you know, the Macy's firework thing has been held in NBC since 1979. Uh, in 2009, the fireworks display returned to the Hudson River since 2000. That's why they used so much the 22 tons because it was the 400th anniversary. Yeah. Okay. Of Henry Hudson's exploration of the river, which yeah. is the Hudson River. Oh, by New York City. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you how much, how many tons that is. I think it's like. Uh, um, it's, it's, tons? it's like the uh, inner, like the USS Battleship, basically fired into Iwo Jima <laughs> during the landing. That's uh, yeah. Well, no, the, the the shells are like this and weigh like about a thousand pounds. Oh. Wow. And, and the rest of the stuff goes with them is about five. 5,000 more, so every time they fire one shot, you're looking at about three mm -hmm. times going through the air. Ooh. And the one in Washington, D.C., which is usually the PBS special, um, 
it's a capital concert. It's a free concert that's held. What was it, on the Capitol lawn? Yeah. And you what's up? Uh, no, it, the it, Jefferson, the Lincoln Memorial is on one end. Yeah, and the great, the great, uh, they have the Washington the, Monument. They have the uh, remember the, uh, the 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 reflection pool is back yes. there, and people will walk around the reflection pool and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. And you have members of Congress sitting outside in the front. Okay, members of Congress get the best seats. They should get some really good seats. But um, okay, here's this thing to remember: Republican presidents go. Go to the Capitol Fourth. Democratic presidents never go to it. They don't. No. Why not? They uh, don't believe in it. Oh God. They'll go to New York. They'll go to this. They'll go to that. But they do not go to their own thing. So, wow. which I've always found to be amazing. I mean, I, I remember seeing Ronald Reagan there, the Bushes there, uh, Eisenhower, and Nixon. That. I think the last president, the last president I know that was a Democrat that went to the Capitol Fourth regularly was uh, John Kennedy because he was a he was a get the congressional out of water, folks. Yeah. There's a guy that actually well, he he was everything. So you know, and I always love it. I I know when I went to school in Denmark, I always thought they were really patriotic because I remember driving up. It's like they have all these little Danish flags in the driveway. It's like here in the United States. For the Fourth of July or for national holidays, we put you know our flag out by the house or wherever you are to put your flag out, right? Take it down, it's sent down. Um, but it's like for as patriotic. I was thinking of the Danes because yeah. they're very they're a small country. They're very very patriotic, and it's like compared to them in the United States, it's like other than the Fourth of July. No, but they don't really see a tremendous amount of patriotism. No, but it, it was a time that it was incorporated in the television shows and stuff because. I did an episode of a, t of a, of a military show in uh, 1960, and basically what happened was the soldiers were screwing around and, and they were having a 4th of July celebration with they, they got the band to play the music and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 I, I, I wasn't one of the good guys, I was one of the Germans, folks. I always played the Germans. I mean, let me put it this way, my little girl, Daddy, how come you always be on the wrong side? You knew who was going to lose. Yeah, that never made sense to her. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're the Germans played by my and some others. Actually, I did. I would have qualified for the the, uh, the military thing. I had all kinds of gender battles for you because of like. But they're we're, they're playing all of this stuff, so we're trying to figure out what's going on because they're throwing actually they're throwing quarter sticks of dynamite like cherry bomb. Mm -hmm. They're celebrating, and they thought a guy you know the German. We have an offensive. They're calling in. They're attacking on our line. Get our, you know, they're getting more people there, more people there. And then the guys, they're, they're crawling up and they're seeing people drinking out of containers, the stuff they'd make, and they're. Was it los? Come on, here, and they go, you know, and they're and they're basically down there, and then. Das bin war. The. War, the war is over. <laughs> you know, it was the whole thing. So, guess who then went down to celebrate the war being over? Mm -hmm. And then they they uh, later found out the war was it over. It's back to. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there was, that was they would do things like that. Cat westerns would do it. They'd have patriotic things, comedy shows. It was a big deal at one time in our history to do television shows built around American holidays. Well, there's one thing, it's, it's like, I know, some of these things look really kind of corny and I bring them out of Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, it's for the fun of it, okay? Yeah, because, it, you know, you dig out, there's our hats. Their hats only come out, like, at these times a year, and at, like, uh, like... No, at, National Holiday, Memorial or, Day, or like SEMA, Day. because the SEMA is held during the president, during oh, the, the election. during elections. So we right. tend to get, we tend to wear these hats during that, that day because it's on the same day as the election. So. But I always like it as as a time of celebration. I also love, of of course, every national holiday here, you celebrate with lots of food and lots of eating, and of course with the Fourth of July. Oh, and then you go. What? <laughs> with the Fourth of July, there's always it's a, oh watermelon. Always great. We watermelon, have our own corn, watermelon, right. hot dogs, hamburgers, um, beer. It's a great time to want beer. <laughs> our hamburger, you know, the hot dogs, they have no clue where they're at. The hot dogs. It is. It's a great time to buy we're them. We're missing the corn, but that's coming. Yeah, we have to go get it. We've got, yeah. we've got like seven or 
just for a dollar. So, so, if you, so if you actually collect these things, you'll never see two of them done all <laughs> You never will. <laughs> guess, so until our next holiday, this is all okay. And this is not a spring chick. Happy 4th of July. Enjoy your many celebrations. <laughs> Woo!